Part 1 Sure, I'd love to discuss that with you personally, but not today. I'm sacrificing to the gods of heart and home. It's my dad's birthday today. Sure. Chat later. I'll be in London tomorrow. Yes. Bye. I'd rather listen to the silence. What? Would you mind turning down the music, please? You seem successful. Thank you. I hope this doesn't offend you, but you look like a local from here. That's okay. I lived here a long time ago. By the way, I'm Andre. Sergey, let's have a word. Have you decided? Not as yet. I'm afraid that there's no more time left. Time really isn't on our side. But it's fine. Yeah, I can see that. Yes, that's right. Here, have a drink. Cut it out. I told you that everything's fine. You're forgetting something. What about Anna? Are you telling me you haven't told her? So she's completely in the dark? I'll just tell her later. <laughs> Honestly. <sighs> I can tell her for you. Seriously, I'm a family friend. And let's not forget that I'm a doctor for Pete's sake. No. Sergey. All right then. Come on, tell her yourself. I said, let's get going. Come on. Of course. Anna, are you ready? Why, do you need something? I just wanted to talk. Okay, come in. Let's talk. Yeah. Uh, you're doing the talking. Oh, come on. Come on. Go. You should tell her. Really? Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. The restaurant. Well? Well, I thought that you were ready. Not yet, obviously. Aren't we running late? This is one of those situations where it's not possible for us to be late. What did you want to talk about again? Nothing. It's nothing. I'll wait downstairs. Uh-huh. Look who's arrived! <laughs> Get on. over here! Uh, 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 uh. Still remember it! <laughs> Dad, I'm not 13 anymore! Yes, but this was easier then. 
And what about your mother? Hop in and mom. Come on, come on, Let's hurry go up. Now. Thank you so much. I just can't help it, but when I... Look at you, I just think that you look like a real British person. Thank you, Mom. That wasn't a compliment. Why don't we put some eyeliner on you? When I look at your face, I... <laughs> I can't see your eyes. Okay, fine. No eyeliner. But please, put on some lipstick, Katya. Mom, can you stop it, please? First of all, it's not very hygienic. And secondly, I won't give in to someone else's terrible taste because what others think of me doesn't matter to me. You see that, Anna? That's the freedom we sent her off to learn in England. She would never have developed that freedom over here. That means that we did the right thing. Of course we did. I remember how she enjoyed her freedom at that school of hers. But I remember that she didn't even have permission to... Fart. Mom! What? You're the one who called us every day, sobbing and begging us to let you come home? It sounds like you had a lot of freedom there. That was a long time ago. Tell me how it's going with your schoolwork. My thesis? What? Um, it's... for my master's project. Ah. You wouldn't be interested in hearing about it. If it's important to you, then I'm interested. Dad, it's honestly hard for me to talk about art theory in simple terms. It's hard to explain. It's okay. Mom, what, what are you doing? Tell me, are those old or new pants? They're new pants. They're new? What a world we live in. New things are made to look old because it's hip. I was just looking to see what you brought your father as a present. I didn't get him anything. Really? Dad! Yes? I didn't buy you a present, I'm sorry. What do you mean? It seems silly to me to buy you something that you don't actually need, especially using the money you gave me. So you didn't get me a gift? <laughs> I'm taking you right Dad, back to the airport. I've already Dad. booked her Dad. ticket. Dad. <laughs> Dad, cut it out! <laughs> I'm a great present, don't you think? No? Of course, of course. I'm happy that you made the time to fly over and visit us. You know how I feel about coming back to visit. And yet here I am. I just hope you realize how much I really love you. Every time I see you, I get this thought. Will I recognize you when you come visit, or will you be a different person? Well, there's no way for me to remember anything about my birth, so I'm just going to have to assume that you're my real mother. <laughs> Dad. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. Welcome. I don't think I can today. <sighs> to be honest with you, I don't really understand. But my mom told me that she has some sort of plan for me this evening. Dasha, how much longer are you gonna take? Just a second, mom. <sighs> well, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Mm hmm
Mom, do I really need to go with you? I mean, just look at me. And it's not like I'll know anyone there. The important thing here is, I know someone. Well then, why don't you just go by yourself, or at least explain why I need to go? You're asking me to explain myself? Did you really just ask me to explain myself? Do you really think that you deserve an explanation from me? Are you the one who cared for me for 18 years? Are you the one who survived with no help? Are you the one who worked 12 hour shifts at two different jobs just to get by? Mom, I'm sorry. Dasha, Dasha, today is a very important day, maybe even the most important day of your life. Please promise me that you'll be good. I promise. You need to behave today. <sighs> so you decided to invite Kachuk? Of course I did. He's my business partner. Do you remember the man? <sighs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, he has a son named Ruslan. You two chased one another around as kids. All oh, right, Ruslan. He was the chubby little boy, wasn't he? Yes, well, that chubby little boy graduated from one of the top universities in America, and he's finally come home. <sighs> if that was meant to be a hint, I'm not ready to come back. No, it wasn't a hint. I'm just envious. If Ivan wants to leave, there will be someone to leave the family business to. Dad. Now it's that time of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for the man of the hour, Sergei Belyevsky. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming today. Have any of you uh, tried the canapes yet? Yes, they're really good. good. Hello, Katya. Remember me? Ruslan? Yeah, it's me. I just lost some weight. <gasps> you look great! Thank you. I think we both look great. Can't say the same about the others. <laughs> Did you forget how we celebrate things? Yeah. <laughs> I think I forgot how everything here works. I have to get used to it again. My dad is planning to hand over the company to me. And I've even forgotten what snow looks like. <laughs> me too. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, my friends... I think it's time to dine. Let's all take our seats. Shall we? Come on. Want a drink? Good evening. I think it's safe to assume that everyone here has the TV. And I believe that we all watched our birthday boy last Saturday. But by the show of hands, who watched him though? Fantastic. Everyone here watched me except for my beautiful wife. <laughs> oh my, what a tragedy. I'm sure we all thought that the TV host I'm was I'm sorry, forgive me. You're forgiven. He was just trying to throw people off kilter, right? But the only person he couldn't get riled up was none other than Sergei Balayevsky. He just remained calm, and he handled himself. Sergei, I've known you for a very long time. I'm honored that I've been part of your journey, and you've allowed me to be your friend. And I've seen you handling your legal work and taking care of your company. And I can vouch that you're very loyal and the most honest man I've ever met. I think everyone can agree. And what I admire about you is that you always try to keep your integrity with everyone. And I hope you continue to be an example to teach every one of us. And we all gonna strive to follow your lead. To you, my friend. I hate it. They made us dance at school, it was torture. 
I also hate it. I had to take classes instead of soccer. <laughs> what do you think, shall we? Nobody's dancing. They haven't had enough to drink. Come on. It'll be fun, promise. All grown up. You could say that. Excuse me, ladies, could you play something a bit more lively? <laughs> Can I ask you something? I know what you want to ask. Not today. Let's leave work to when we're at work, okay? <laughs> to you. Thanks. What were you two talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing much. Just business. You talked business? Yeah. You spoke about business while looking at Katya? Does she have something to do with it? Hang on, are you planning on marrying her off to Katrick Jr.? What are you talking about? No one is doing that. No. No. <laughs> Thank God. You're my honest to a fault husband, which means I can trust you. But not Kachuk. I don't trust him. Well done. <laughs> You're a good dancer. Didn't I tell you that they just had to open a few more bottles? I never would have thought that my dad would hang around so many hypocrites. Did you watch him on the television? Honestly, no. Well, I did. He said his generation can't change. It's too late for them to change. But not for their kids. That's why it's worth working towards that. That's why he sent you to England. I think it's the best thing you could have done for me. Anna! What? I'm not trying to marry Katya off to someone. Really? really. But if we were to think of the future, right now, I'm the only one providing for the family. If something were to happen to me... Sergei... No. I want you and Katya to be fine without me. That's why I want Katya to have someone reliable. But, but, Yes, but. yes. I know you don't care for Katyuk as a potential brother-in-law. It's not that I don't care about him. It's just mm -hmm. I can't stand him. And you know that. You know I was an actress in my former life. Some might even say a good one. And that's how I can tell that he doesn't play the role well. At least not the role of your friend. He's a fake, I'm telling you. Well, it looks like Katya has taken a liking to his son. That's what's driving me insane. Completely insane. Pardon the interruption, sir, but I believe it's time for you to do your toast. Go on. I'll be back in a while. You look simply enchanting tonight. But then again, don't you always? <laughs> Anna, there's something I need to tell you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to even start. Sergei said that he would tell you himself, but he hasn't mentioned it, so... Mm, Evening, friends. I have to. Wait, hold that thought. He's Thank starting. you all for the kind words that everyone shared. Thank you. I mean it, and I'd be ungrateful if I didn't thank the two most important women in my life. Because without them, Without those two, my life would lose all meaning it has. Because without them, my life would be devoid of any happiness and joy. And that's why I need to thank them separately. First, my beautiful and charming wife, Anna. Anna. <laughs> 
Anna, I don't think I'll ever be worth the sacrifices you've made in the name of love. A young star of the stage who gave up everything so she could travel around the country with her ambitious husband starting a business. Because when you're starting a new business, you have to be everywhere at once. And I never asked you or expected you to give up your career for me. I don't think I'll ever be worthy of that, but I'm still grateful because you've made me the happiest man alive, so thank you. And secondly, the other most important woman can be none other than my own dear daughter, Katya. That isn't true, Sergei Belyavska. Katya isn't your only daughter. You have another daughter that you, as much as it pains me, never knew you had. Who exactly are you? Please don't cause any more trouble for him. Now come with me. No, Melnik, it's okay. It looks like you really don't remember me at all. I know I've changed a lot, but I hoped you'd recognize me. Life hasn't been easy for me. Remember July 1998? Brigantine Boarding House. If none of that jogs your memory, Perhaps you'll remember the dress I was wearing that night. Dasha! <clears throat> Dasha, come here! Dasha. Remember now? This is Dasha, your daughter. Well... If you still don't believe me, then... Here. Some of Dasha's hair. Genetic material, as scientists say, for confirming you're her father. Nadia? <sighs> That's right. Get me out of here. Um, okay, I'll get the car and meet you outside. Anna. Anna, wait. I, uh... If you think... If you all think you've found yourself watching a circus act, then please go look for your tickets. If you don't find your tickets, then please leave. You know her? Anna, I can explain no, it to you. No, thank you. I already understand everything. It's clear. You've explained it. It seems you aren't worthy of the sacrifice I made for you and for the past 20 years, I disagreed. You've managed to convince me now. Wonderful. Listen, let's not get into this, because back then, you had a bunch of men chasing you around. Those people were my fans, Sergei. Yes. So what is this all about then? Is it about revenge to you? So that's what all this is about, huh? I never made a big deal about all of the gossip. All the things what I heard. What things? All the gossip. About you and your director, Guliev. And all the roles he gave you as a young girl. I ignored it all. The whispers that my daughter looked more like him than she looked like me, Anna. Mom, I want to leave. Can you Stop. not find the exit? No, you stay. How come you never told me? What? About your daughter? Well, I looked for you. But you disappeared so suddenly, I knew nothing about you. I looked, I really did. And after that, I was forced to make my way home alone. Alone? Yes. It seemed like it was my fate. And then I turned on the TV, and what do you know? I see you. A famous businessman. I see, a philanthropist, successful and composed. And well, I saw my Sergei. Sergei, this seems like a personal conversation. It's a conversation with legal consequences. You stay. Dasha. 
You should go hug your dad. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing me here. The humid air from the river makes me feel at home. Your parents? My dad. Are you worried? I'm just glad that I actually got the chance to leave. Leave what? This country. Oh. Was it hard to adjust in England? At first it was horrible. The whole year I cried and wanted to come back home. I was surrounded by strangers. And I was one. And it was hard because I was closer to my dad. And... I was, uh, a daddy's girl. But now with my mom, I just always felt like I could never measure up to her. Yeah, I get it. My mom is also pretty impressive for her age. Well, that's why I didn't want to be anything like her. The truth is, it's because I knew I never could be. You know, I can barely even put on makeup. And I don't care what I look like. All I wanted was to be smart. Well, I'll tell you what. You're smart. And beautiful. Hey. What? Slow down. I have a boyfriend back in Cambridge, oh, actually. Oh, well, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I don't actually have a boyfriend. <sighs> Slow down. What? Not today. What's wrong? I have no idea how you do this back in America, but in the UK people have some manners. Even when these things happen, it's usually only when you're drunk. <sighs> and because, um, I've never gotten drunk before, this can't be happening to me. Sorry. <sighs> All right, let's go find a bar then. <sighs> no, sorry. I first want to make sure that you're actually going to call me. I'll call you. Where? At Cambridge? Not only can I call you at Cambridge, but I can visit if you invite me. Slade, I have to go. Can you give me a ride? Home? To the airport. The airport? If that's where you want to go, then we'll go. It's foggy today, I'm telling you. Here, see for yourself. See that? Has it been foggy all week? Yeah, and you thought I was a liar. It's the best weather for walks. And guess what? I just completed my bachelor's dissertation today. Oh, really? Congrats. Well, we'll see what my professor thinks of it. He's a bit old school and he's Scottish too. Do you really not know where I am right now? My dad's been piling work on me at the firm, but I found time to come. Um, I'm lost. Where are you? Did you seriously forget? Wait, I'll send you a reminder. I sent a file. Why would you send this to me? What? What's wrong with it? My dash cam's always on, so now I have this beautiful memory on tape. No! Delete it! Are you kidding me? You're asking me to delete the best minute of my life? Never. I demand you delete it. Uh, I'll delete it later then. Listen, there's something important I haven't told you yet. 
I'm able to come and visit you if you want me to. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm sorry, I'll call you back later. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Mom. What's going on? Katya, you need to come home. Your father's dead. Yeah, it's Melnick. I'll be honest. Are you planning to do your job? This is a tragedy. A real tragedy. I'll be right back. Listen, I stopped talking to him after I found out. I hated him. I went away and I didn't pick up my cell phone. For two weeks. Out of spite. Are you lost or something? I'm going to Sergei's office, and I could ask you the same question. Look, sir, given our situation, can we start over? Okay, fine. Hmm. Well, then. You saw the house? Yeah. And now you know who the person you owe your life to is. You're right, Mom. <sighs> Melnick! 
Yes. Where's the car? No, I told him to come in too. Mm. And now it's 2.30. What must I do? Give him a call. I already have. Then call him again. <gasps> oh, Katya. Oh, look at how upset you are. Your father would be absolutely devastated if he saw you like this. You can't fall apart. Oh, Sergei, Sergei. Who do you think you are giving orders here? Katya, somebody has to do it. Funerals are often hard. Look. Just look at your poor mother. Oh, you can't honestly tell me that you'd rather she did this alone. Honestly, I'd prefer it if you weren't here at all. Why weren't you here with him? Why weren't you there to support him? To help him? In every way you could. Your father sacrificed so Mom. much. You... You only ever decided to come back, what, once a year? And you'd only stay for a day or two. That's it. Do you know where he wanted to be buried? Did... Did he reserve a resting place for himself? Mom... You're the one who killed Katya. him! Katya. It was you! Shh, 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 shh. Oh, Katya... <laughs> Katya, I understand your pain. It's a human reaction. You're trying to find someone to blame for what happened. I can't blame you for feeling this way. Katya, I don't blame you. I don't. Katya, go sit with your mother. The car is here. Mom. My poor daughter. You have no father. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, let's not go to dinner. We can go somewhere else. No, Katya, we should rather go and not miss it. The reason we're going is to honor your father's memory. I'll come by tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Hi, Ruslan. Yeah. I'm all right, thank you. Listen, can you come over? I could use the support. It's bad. Busy? No, I get it. I understand. Work is work. Bye. I just hope all of this will be over soon. Well then, now, the hardest part is behind us. We've all said our goodbyes to Sergei. May his memory live inside us and never be forgotten. There's only one more thing that I need to complete. The formalities. And by that I mean, I need to read his will to you. When he found out about his illness, he took the time to write it. Excuse me? You were aware of his illness? I just thought his heart suddenly stopped. You surprise me sometimes. Our hearts don't suddenly stop out of nowhere. They hurt first. A heart can be in so much pain. I've always envied you. Your whole life you had a person near you that did everything to protect and shield you from the world. From problems and despair. Oh, please. Katya, I know you're hurting. But watch your mouth when speaking to an adult. Didn't your mom teach you any manners? That's enough. Stop. 
Let's get back to the matter at hand. When he found out about his illness, he asked me as his lawyer. He asked me to write a new version of his will, which I did for him, all right? But after the events that took place at his birthday, he came to me and said that I should look at his will. He requested that I should change it, make a new version of it. So I made the changes to his will, like he insisted. He also asked me to redo his will with the new changes in it. If you have any questions for me, please do ask. As you know, he has a long list of assets he bought and owned over the years. And he had a huge amount of company shares, a lot of bank accounts, stocks as well. And also, in addition, he had a huge amount of money. There's a lot of items he mentioned here. Um, I don't want to bore you with all of it, so let us skip this and get to the point. In, in the case of Nadizda Bargina, according to his will, you'll receive nothing. And you, my wife, Anna Belevaskaya, according to his will, you will also inherit nothing from him. What? He's lying. Hold on. So, all of Sergei's properties will be divided. The properties are divided between his daughters in the following manner. You, Katya, Peliaskaya, in the village of Danilovka, you will inherit the country house and also nine acres of land with that. What house? Where is Danilovka? As for the rest of his properties in the will, he requested that all of it be transferred to Dasha Bargina Belayevskaya. That's everything. Congratulations. Um, he also left something else in his will. In the end, there's a small note. I will read it. To my eldest daughter, I write this to you. I want to see a signature. Yes, of course. But no, this is his signature. And you can compare it if you really want to. Katya, let's go home. We're not going to stay here and look like fools. If you'll forgive me, but you weren't listening very carefully. The house you just referred to doesn't belong to you anymore. And its new legal owner doesn't require you to stay at the house anymore. Now, you may still collect your personal belongings. Just make it quick. Mom, let's leave this insanity and go to England. We'll fight this. Don't fool yourself, Katya. Your accounts in England, your education and living expenses aren't yours anymore. And the owner of that account thinks that the funds currently in that account should be used for something more practical. Sorry to interrupt, but we have to finish this meeting now. I really hope that all of you, you, you will honor Sergei's memory from now on. Questions? They were prepared for this. Do you see now? This wasn't a surprise to them. They knew. Is this your stuff? I'm afraid so. I'll load it up so we can get going. <sighs> Don't worry, the owner already paid me for this. So go ahead and get in. Mom. I really don't think that we did the right thing here. <laughs> oh, 
my sweet girl. Haven't you always wanted a big, beautiful house? Do you remember that sweetheart? Well, now you finally have one. That's good. Life's working out, right? Everything's going to be just fine. We've arrived. Hey, Mom. Are you seeing this? Maybe this is all just a bad dream. And Dad's still alive. Maybe things are okay. It isn't a bad plot. The soil looks good. It looks ripe for planting. All right. Let's see how it looks inside. Hello. 